Radiohead are one of my favourite bands, so I was really pleased to hear new music from the band The Smile, who are made up of Tom York and Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead, as well as Tom Skinner on drums. I was watching the video for Friend of a Friend, and I noticed that Tom York was playing a very prominent bass line, and I thought that it might make an interesting analysis video. I just gotta turn myself inside out. Let's start by checking out the tone. In the video, it looks like he's playing a Guild Starfire semi hollow body bass, and I think I'm hearing some flat one strings there as well. It really gives that beautiful vintage -y, Paul McCartney ish kind of sound. I'm really into it. But more interestingly, uh, I think, is the actual bass line that he's playing. The song starts with a duet between the bass line and the vocal melody. The first thing that I noticed is that it's not your average time feel. The song starts in 5 8 for the first seven bars, and then adds an extra beat onto the eighth bar to make it a 6 8. Then it repeats. In that last bar, I like the way the piano plays four evenly spaced notes over the 6 8 bar, creating a polyrhythm. It kind of reminded me of Daydreaming by Radiohead. If you haven't heard Daydreaming, give it a listen after this video. It's a stunning song. We hear this polyrhythm again at the end of the A section, but this time it sets up a metric modulation. That four polyrhythm now becomes the main pulse and the music feels like it slows down into a very slow 6-8. It's a very clever way of changing the time feel. I like the way it foreshadows this metric modulation earlier on in the song. On first listen, the bass line sounds quite busy. For example, the first bar is made up of C, E, and G, which is the root, the third, and the fifth, chord tones of the C major chord. I can go anywhere. But when the piano chords come in the next time through, we can hear that the bass is actually playing just the root notes of each chord. So we can now hear it's actually the entire harmony that's quite busy, and the bass line is just following with root notes. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think the piano is playing C, E minor, G, A minor, and the bass is playing the root of each of these chords. I think this is a very clever arrangement, as the piano chords provide context to the bass line, slowly revealing the arrangement to the listener. Interestingly, the piano is also playing a bass line in the same register as the bass, but it's playing something completely different. Over the C chord, they both play the root note, C, but over the E minor chord, we get the bass playing the E as the root note, but the piano plays a B, creating a perfect fifth interval. Over the G chord, the piano stays on B and the bass plays G, creating a major third interval. Listen to the richness that this creates. Cut out shapes. If we look at this part of the song, the chords are C major leading to E minor leading to F. The top line of the piano part is descending and the bass line is ascending. This is called contrary motion and it's really pleasing to the ear so it's worth considering when writing harmony. Cut out shapes. There are lots of interesting elements to this track so give it a listen and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much.